Hi, my name is Danny. I'm here with Habitat for Humanity, Kent County. So obviously, first of all, you need a caught gun. These can range from three to ten dollars at any local store. The cheaper ones, obviously, are cheaper for a reason. They don't quite work as well. They'll let a little bit dribble at the end. Um, so you want to spend about five to ten dollars on one. Get a good one that'll last. You'll be able to use it throughout the life of your house. Some of them have features like a spout cutter. I usually recommend cutting it with a knife. That way you get a lot cleaner cut. Some caulk products, mostly exterior, they have a seal on the inside and that's what this is for, for actually going in there and breaking that seal. Right here's the trigger. As you pull this, that squeezes the caulk out of the tube. If you want to stop the caulk from coming out, you push this lever here and that relieves the pressure. To pull the tube out, you just pull that back. This is just your basic caulk that you would use around your trim uh, and other areas like that. So it just fits in right there. You squeeze it and then you're good to go. A few other tools that you use, obviously you'll need a knife for cutting the tip. You wanna make sure you cut it at a 45 degree angle. And I always recommend starting small. You can always make the hole bigger if you need it bigger, but you can't make it smaller. Also, you need to use the right caulk for the job. There's exterior caulk, there's interior caulk, there's special caulk for around the tubs. Uh, you want a more siliconized caulk for around your tubs and around your sinks. Whereas your trim, you just need a regular, you know, Alex Plus uh, painter's caulk. So another tool is uh, a five-way. These are these are good for scraping old caulk out if you're re-caulking or for getting any any dirt or anything that's stuck underneath the trim out. A bathroom is one of the places where we uh, we have to use the caulk gun a lot, especially on the tub, on the trim in there. So let's go take a look. Like I mentioned before, the bathroom is one of the places where you use the caulk in a lot. Make sure the area that you're going to caulk is clean. You want to make sure it's dry, clean, there's no oils, grease, dirt, nothing like that. You want to sweep it because if you just put it over water or over oil, the caulk isn't going to last. Here we have the edge of your shower where your shower meets the drywall. Uh, that's an important area because you get some water out, so it's important to get, make sure that this gap is sealed. So here you would basically take this and you just take it all the way to the floor. And it's important when you do that to not put a ton on there. You just want a really thin bead of caulk that fills the holes. And then afterwards you can just run your finger through it. They do sell specialized caulk tools that you can use, but I find that usually a finger works best. Also, you wanna to remember to have a rag handy because when you're done caulking, if you set it down, it's easy for it just to keep spilling out all over the floor, then you have a mess to clean up. You also wanna make sure that you smooth it off. That's, that's really important. If not, the caulk isn't gonna do its job of sealing the moisture out or making that nice clean look. 